Hello there, I'm Sorvistion. So, I've been playing Sinnoh Alice for about a week now. For those of you who don't know, it is the spiritual successor to, and even recently featured a crossover event with Nier Automata, linking those two worlds. I am also really happy to say that we again get to see the same quality we saw in Nier Automata. So without further ado, these are my first impressions of Sinnoh Alice. Okay, so let me get some introductory stuff out of the way first. Sinnoh Alice is a new mobile game developed by Pokelabo and published by Square Enix. The reason the game has similarities with Nier Automata is because it is directed by the same person, Yoko Taro, and supposedly exists somehow within the Taro universe. Sinnoh Alice is set in an eerie, otherworldly library, and its story follows the quest of several fairy tale heroines on their journeys, guided by a pair of deranged dolls, to resurrect their dead authors. To me, this gacha game feels like Nier Automata meets Dark Souls meets Epic Seven. The plot of killing things to obtain some sort of salvation is very Dark Soulsian. And in typical Nier Automata fashion, we get a heavy dose of existentialism, which is great. It's about time we got a dark, brooding gacha game with hot, twisted waifus and creepy support characters. And it's done so well. What carries the story is the excellently written characters and superb original Japanese voice acting. While the localization to English is excellent, I can totally understand why they chose to keep the original Japanese voice acting. An English dubbing just wouldn't do the story and characters justice. Just like how true anime fans always watch the subtitle version. Sinnoh Alice also harkens back to the old JRPG days in that the entire story is delivered through text and narration, with a good amount of lore delivered through weapon descriptions just like in Dark Souls. It definitely took some getting used to, after having been pampered with animation for so many years. So I talk about quality and oh boy is the artwork and music amazing. The artwork has a modern gothic doll-like flavor that again takes a little getting used to but is awesome nonetheless. The music slash sound effects are more subdued and to me more reminiscent of the original Dark Souls game than of Nier Automata. However, I have to compliment the choice of music and artistic styles as they really harmonize well to the darker themes and setting of Sinnoh Alice. While there are a very limited number of unique story characters for a gacha game, each character has several job variants, all with their own unique look. It's basically like playing dress up with your waifus, except all these waifus have some pretty broken and twisted personalities. For now, combat and gear loadout seem relatively easy and straightforward, but that's probably just because I haven't reached endgame content yet. Combat revolves mostly around elemental weapon skills and pets you can summon called nightmares. Each weapon has a different skill. Some will heal you, while others will buff you or debuff the enemy. Some weapons target a single enemy, while others have a chance to deal damage to multiple enemies. And some weapons only affect allies. Minus the restriction that physical classes can only use physical weapons, and likewise magic classes can only use magical weapons, there is a lot of customization available with the ability to create different gear sets for different situations. So far, I've just been using what the game has recommended. Now, while you do have to pull for weapons, 
I'm so glad that the stats on them aren't random like in Epic 7, for instance. There is no re-rolling for the perfect set of stats, so once you get a good weapon through the gotcha system, you can use it immediately. Now, for me, what really sets Sinoalis apart from other gotcha games is its co-op system. As long as you have a story or event verse unlocked, you can run that verse with friends or guild members anytime. It essentially allows farming to be done in groups. It's the first time I've ever really seen a gacha game provide real-time dungeon-esque content. And the co-op system isn't the only way it does this. Sinoalis also has the daily real-time guild versus guild coliseum battle system. It happens at a set time once a day and involves most or all of the guild in a cyclical multi-stage battle alternating between direct combat with the opposing guild and assaulting the enemy guild ship if you won, or reviving and recharging if you lost. I won't go into any more detail about it here, as it's kind of difficult to imagine until you see it. However, I found it to be a lot of fun and well-balanced. There are two other things that I really like about Sinnoh Alice. The first is the unlimited gacha pulls right off the bat when you first start the game. You can resummon till you get what you like. It is very RNG dependent, so it may take one or more hours to get something really worth keeping, but it's also way more convenient than having to re-download the game after every like X number of tries. The other thing is the developer has built mini surveys right into the game to get player feedback. The dolls will check in with you a couple times once you reach certain milestones in the game, and they will give you some rudimentary choices to indicate how you would like to see the game progress. Though it is very basic, I don't remember seeing anything like this built into a gacha game before, and indicates to me at least that the developers are interested in listening to their gaming community. So overall, I found Sinnoh Alice to be a competent quality addition to the gacha game market, and I am having a lot of fun playing it. I'm interested to hear your thoughts about Sinnoh Alice down in the comment section. This has been Sorvistion, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.